Hey YouTube and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're back. If you don't know me, my name is JD Savage. I'm a six figure affiliate marketer. What I do is I help people make money online here on my channel, Imperfect Millionaires. So Imperfect Millionaires is my channel as well as my business. What do I mean? What I mean is I've been a coaching consultant, a mindset coach and life strategies coach for almost the, well, almost 30 years now, last three decades. And specifically what I focus on on this channel is affiliate marketing. But I also focus on mindset and what it is that gets in people's way and stops them from having what they want. Because, see, my belief is this. I can show you all of the things in the world that you should do, ought to do, and will lead to success and will bring you sales and will bring you, uh, you know, that laptop lifestyle that everybody seems to want. What I found is, is that people might understand what to do, but it doesn't mean they're going to do it. So. What I've started doing is integrating a lot of the skill set that I've gained over the last three decades and helping people actually take action and kind of move past some of the things that, you know, the, the barriers that are in their way, right? Because most oftentimes, the barriers that are in the way, they're not out there. You know, you know that, right? They're right here. They're, they're in the way. They're procrastination. They're, I won't go into the whole list of what they are, but you know what they are, right? It's like um, people might have a gym membership, for example, but very few people go to the gym consistently on a weekly basis. Why? Not because the gym isn't there. Not because their membership dues aren't paid, but because something in their mind prevents them from taking the action that they originally said and wanted, well, said they were going to take and actually believed that they wanted to take and they actually do want to take it. But for whatever reason, there's some barrier in their way, right? That's the same thing, guys, with making money online, with making money on brick and mortar in the real world, whatever. Look, the bottom line is, is the only barrier to accomplishment for the majority of people is their mind. That's really what it comes back to, okay? So I've taken a little heat for this, but I've also got a lot of really good feedback from it. I'm not going to stop doing it. So if this isn't something you're interested in, then this isn't a video that you're interested in. If you just want to get straight to making money and, and mindset's all tuned up for you, then I would suggest jump down here. This is high ticket here. This is low ticket here. And I've proven both of these platforms to make a whole heap of money, right? And I'm not saying don't do that and tie mindset in with it. But what I am saying is if you know your mindset needs some work, that's what I'm doing here, okay? So this is the third video uh, of a series. So if you haven't seen the series, if you didn't start at the beginning, I would highly recommend starting at the beginning. That is going to be this series right here, Make It Rain, okay? And if you have a hard time, because people tell me that sometimes, they're like, I can't, you got so many videos, I can't find the video. So jump down here, you see where it says playlist here, um, at the top of this, it says playlist. And then also, oh, oh I'm pointing the right spot, down here, playlist. You can also jump up here to the top of the screen and you can find playlists here, okay? And you will recognize the Make It Rain as it has a very distinguishable thumbnail. And it literally says, Make It Rain. Okay, so I made two videos. This will be the third one for this series. And what we're going to talk about today, guys, the last video that I made, you know, I referenced setting down the baggage and some 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 about social narrative. I didn't go real deep into it. I got some responses from people saying, you know, what I quoted out there on the video is they're saying, yeah, I'm ready to set down the baggage. That's awesome. Thank you for those messages. I appreciate it. I also got some private messages from some people saying, well, you don't understand, right? Some people indicating that they feel they're lacking in a capacity. They're lacking. They're, they're fearful of this. They're fearful of that. Right. And those are personal things. So I'm not going to say specifically what those are because that wouldn't be appropriate. But what I will tell you, and this is what I want to talk about in this video, before we move forward, I just want to clarify for everybody that's feeling any sense of uh, inability or lacking that I've had the good fortune in my lifetime to work with some extremely high performers. I mean, from athletes to CEOs to just extremely successful people by our standard, right? By social standard. So when you look at them, they look extremely like, wow, what a life that would be to have. Here's what I want you to understand. And I'll tell you, I'm not just talking about other people, myself included. I've accomplished quite a few things in my life, but guess what I can tell you that, you know, I mentioned in the last video, I was a dyslexic dumb kid, the horrible student. I mean, horrible student, right? What right do I have to be talking to people about success and accomplishment and all the things? Well, I'll tell you what right I think I have. And you're welcome to make a comment and tell me if you agree. But I've overcome a lot of those things. I had to overcome those, which made me stronger and more capable to face rejection, to face people. Maybe everybody doesn't like me, right? I know we'll go into that more about that later, but uh, not necessarily me, but just in general, people's fear of, you know, not being pleasing to everybody. What I want to address here is even with the, ex the, the most high performance people that I've ever had the pleasure of coaching in my lifetime, right? Here's what I can tell you. Everybody has baggage. So if you feel like you're alone, or that your situation is different, you know, whether that's trauma, whether that's childhood, whatever that is, right? I'm here to tell you, you're not alone. I'm here to tell you that the same people that you look at today and go, wow, I'd like to do that. They had the same fears you have or a variation of that fear, right? Not being accepted, um, seeking approval, um, feeling inadequate. If you feel those things, all that means, if you're seeing me talk right, all that means is you're human. That's all. 
right? And that's just a feeling. So I want you to connect with something here if you can. It's just a feeling. It's not reality. It literally is just a feeling. And how I know it's not reality is I've sat with, and I can't mention names, of course, but I'd be inappropriate, but I've sat with some damn high-performing people. And they've looked me right in the face and told me, I just don't know if I can overcome this, right? And what they were talking about overcoming paled in comparison to everything they'd already overcome. So what I'm hoping to do with this video in particular is just give you some sense of, look, you're not alone. You're just human. If you have these emotions and you have these feelings and you have self-doubt and you have procrastination and you have and you, and you procrastinate because you're actually just fearful to take action, you're not alone. It just means you're human. Does that make sense? Listen. Do yourself a favor, pull out a sheet of paper. You're gonna hear that quite a bit from me, but pull out a sheet of paper or maybe, you know, keep a binder for all this stuff. You know, as we go through these videos, maybe just keep a, a, any kind of little binder that stays together so you don't have scattered papers all over the place. But go through and make a list of some things that maybe at one point in time that you were challenged when you first started something. You were challenged to, and maybe you felt like, oh man, I could never learn this. I could never overcome this. I could never, right? For many people, I'll just give you a few examples to get you warmed up. For many people, that's things like uh, you know, college, when they first took on college, or even high school. Or for me personally, I'll tell you the truth, just school in general. It was hard. Uh, being dyslexic and not knowing that you're dyslexic and just really just kind of thinking you're just dumb. That other people can do it. Why can't I do it? What's wrong with me, right? I'm here to tell you, if you're seeing my face right now and you're hearing me speak, there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. There's just some things that you have to change if you want to have the life you want. Right? I won't go too deep, too deep into that, but look, if you have a, a specific set of results right now that you keep getting and you're not happy with those results, those results are a direct reflection and connection to your actions. Okay, And those actions that you take are a direct reflection of your thought process and your emotions. So that's what we're here to work on. We're here to work on changing your thought process as you relate to yourself, your emotions, Right. Learning to control those and realize they're just emotions and they come and go. Right. They're not steadfast. It's just it's just a feeling and it will pass. Good or bad, it will pass. And then your actions, of course. Right. Because the only thing that derives a result, good or bad, is actions. So that being said, like I said, there's nothing wrong with you. You are not broken. If you've had a series of experiences in your life, that's what shaped the current thought process that you have, the way that you see the world. But let me share something with you. I've seen many a transformation in many, 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 many people, myself included. And here's what happened. When the results started to change in my life is when the actions I was taking changed first. Now, here's the hard part about that. The tough pill to swallow. It's not instantaneous. Not usually. Right. Can it be? Sure. But you now let's just compare it to losing weight. Right. Say that you've had poor eating habits and poor exercise habits for a, a long extended period of years. And you start eating right today, well, the odds that you're going to be at the ideal weight for yourself tomorrow or even 30 days from now is probably pretty low. It's going to take some repetitive action, just like it took to put the weight on, for example, right? It's going to take repetitive action to get it off. Same with your financial situation. Same with your emotional situation. You're going to have to be patient with yourself and you're going to have to be willing to go through the steps required to get where you want to be. I hope that makes sense. Right. And I'm not here to point the finger at anybody. I'm the last person to do that. Right. I got my own issues. I've become pretty good at addressing them. And I've become pretty good over the last three decades of, of helping other people address them and get the life that they want, not a life like that they feel like they're settling for. Right. Because do you ever feel that way? Do you ever feel like you're just settling for the circumstances that are, are available and easily attainable? I felt that way in my life. And sometimes I still feel that way is when I quit stretching, when I quit reaching, I get comfortable. And at first things are a challenge, you know how that is. And then all of a sudden it just becomes old hat and you're used to doing it. And then I start to feel like, uh, eh, kind of complacent, like, all right, well, I guess, you know, and then I start thinking, oh, well, you know, what's wrong with you is you're not stretching, you're not reaching, you're not expanding because see, that's what we really want. In my opinion, do me a favor, drop a comment uh, below and let me know if you agree with this. I'm going to make a pretty bold statement. In my opinion, it's a bold statement anyway is that what we really seek, you know, people say, well, I want money. I want, um, you know, all, all these things I want achievement. I want accolades. I want, you know, appreciation in the end, when you really boil it down to it, here's what I believe everybody is seeking. They're seeking a feeling. That's it. That's what we're chasing, right? The old song hooked on a feeling, right? We're all hooked on a feeling. 
And I believe the reason you might want the money, the cars, the relationship, the whatever it is, right? The house, the whatever, is because you believe that it's going to make you feel a certain way. Do you agree or do you completely disagree? Let me know. The reason I believe that is this, right? Do you really want a bunch of, you know, paper, money? No. You want what you believe that money can provide you, right? Which could be freedom, could be fame, could be whatever it is for you. But in the end, what is that? It's, it's a feeling, right? It is. It's a feeling. Because, see, if really freedom is what we seek, it's a word. Okay. Well, depending upon where you're at in your life, I mean, you, you could just go run out and go live on a mountainside and hunt for your dinner and, and you know, live in a cave. By all definitions, that person is very free. They're not tied to the confines of social narrative at all. They're free. Does that sound ridiculous? Probably, right? I'm just illustrating a point that what are we really seeking? We're seeking a feeling that we believe whatever these accolades, these accomplishments, these achievements are going to give us. I'm here to tell you, you're the one allowing yourself to have that feeling. Okay? So I'm starting to tread into territory that I'm not prepared to tread into yet on this video. What I really came here to let you know is if you're having second thoughts about your ability to accomplish what it is that you want, that's normal. I get it, right? I get people tell me this all the time. Oh, it must be easy for a guy like you. I'm not even sure what that means, right? I guess they see I have a YouTube channel and I've got social accounts and I, you know, they make assumptions about who I am. I have insecurities, I have fears, I have the same things that everybody else does. Your ability to control those is what's going to determine the level of accomplishment that you reach. Okay. That's what I want to say to you. It's not that you're not going to have them. Um, it's not that you're going to make a pile of money and all that stuff's going to go away. And I'm not here to debate whether money's good or bad. I believe it's a good thing, you know, because like I said in many other videos, if you want to buy something, you need money, right? So if you don't want to go live in the cave and do the hunt on the mountainside that I talked about, you need money. You want to help other people. You want to feed the hungry, cost money to do it. You want to uh, house the homeless, cost money to do it. So I'm not here to argue whether money's good or bad, right? I think the, the, the people that say that, uh, you know, money is bad, just don't have any. That's the only people I've ever heard say that money is bad, right? Do I think that money should be your, quote, God, and then it should be over? Absolutely not, right? That's not what I'm saying. So please don't take it out of context. Don't get it twisted. What I'm suggesting to you guys is real simple. That if you're having some feelings of self-doubt, if you're having some feelings of, you look around, you know, I talk about affiliate marketing all the time. And I show people how to do it. This is a very common, common, common thing. And I've seen so many people overcome it. And that's why I'm making this video because I've seen evidence of what's possible. And right? I've seen people come to me and they're terrified to even think about making a little short reel, right? And three months later, they're killing it, right? Just owning it. So that's what I want you to understand most in this video is Sit down, grab yourself a piece of paper and make a list, right? And if you're having a hard time coming up with something, let me ask you something. Were you born knowing how to walk or talk or spell or read or write or turn on your computer and look up a YouTube video? Were you born knowing how to do any of those things? No, you know the answer. You weren't. So how'd you learn? Right. Repetition. You learned because you took the time, energy, and effort to develop the skill set to do those things. That's how you learned. How about driving? I'm just trying to toss you some examples here. Right? How about driving? If you drive, if you have a license. Were you nervous when you started? Probably. Do you even think about it now? Nah. You got it down cold, don't you? You don't have to consciously think about it. You can probably, even though you're not supposed to, you can probably talk on the phone, tune the radio, do all the things, right? While you're driving down the road and carry a conversation. So that's my point. That's what I came here to make this video for today is what I really want you to do is make yourself a list of things that you at one point had to struggle with that you managed to overcome. And please keep it in an area where you can locate it because I may very well ask you to reference back to this. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to shut up now because I don't want to ramble on any longer than I already have. I really appreciate you watching these videos and I hope you're getting something out of them. If you are, please drop a comment below and let me know. Okay. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, if you like this kind of content, Give me a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and tick the bell icon so you're notified when I release any new videos. All right? So I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.